Welcome to your complete low light video comparison between the DJI Action 4 and the GoPro Hero 11 Black. After I drop my full in-depth review of the Action 4 up in the corner there, lots of people ask for more footage from a street sweeper. Anyways, as I was saying, lots of you asked for more low light footage. So this video is all about low light all the time. What I'm basically gonna do is take you on a journey from about an hour or so before sunset uh, through to sunset and then after sunset into like pure darkness. Just so you can see that entire scale of stuff. I'm mostly gonna use footage I shot just today, uh, plus a little bit of tidbits here and there from some past footage just to kind of round things out. Now, three quick housekeeping items. Uh, number one, lots of people talk about sensor size. Sensor size is just one component of the entire digital image pipeline in 2023 cameras or really any cameras for the last three to four years. Don't overthink sensor size, whether it be DJI's increased sensor size here or GoPro's rumored one inch sensor size for the Hero 12 or whatever the heck it is. Doesn't really matter. What matters is how the image actually looks at the end of the day. And that's what this video is all about. Number two, as usual, the video is not sponsored by anyone. I don't freaking care what you buy. Buy GoPro, buy DJI, buy Insta360, buy a potato for all I care. Uh, instead, just focus on the actual images and don't like go all fanboy. With that, let's start looking at some footage. I'm on both these on a dual selfie stick. So I'm running in the trees here. It's obviously an overcast, kind of fuggy day. So it's somewhat dark in here. You can see how the stabilization holds up. Turning it around. Back to me. Okay, so here is another time. This time the camera's static. I'm gonna run past it. So this is gonna be a very simple kind of low light test. Uh, you can see right now it's basically going on sunset. All the settings are stock default, uh, ultra wide on the Action 4, uh, 4K60, Rock City Plus, as well as uh, Super View on the GoPro. And we're just gonna turn around so you can get a little bit of the uh, sunflower look here for me and see how well it balances in these low light conditions. Uh, looking at the screen right now, the, the Action 4 looks a little bit dark, but uh, we'll have to see once we turn around here. It is a bummer I can't see the front screen on the uh, <coughs> uh, Action 4 because uh, it's turned off against 4K60, which is kind of low, honestly. Um, but I can on the GoPro. It looks really pretty, though. I'll tell you that on the GoPro side, anyways. Uh, so not much of a sunset tonight. This is really all I got. Uh, just to turn around here, show a couple things. Uh, it's basically as low light as we're going to get tonight. You guys look at me like, what is that guy doing? But just to show this real quick, turn this around on me so you can see me uh, and see how Lola handles as I walk. And I'll just do a quick jog as well and see how stabilization looks when I do this. Gotta get back to the bike though. Don't want a car to come in. Well, car plunk it. Oh, I think I buy just fine. It's on a mount, it's all pretty well locked in, so there shouldn't be really any meaningful uh, mount play on this. Uh, the only play that we're going to see would be from uh, you know, the bumps of this road here, so I've got a bump right there. Definitely to me looks like the um, Action 4 is struggling a bit more uh, in the low light. This goes out to a little stop around here, a little park. Um, in terms of uh, stabilization, but maybe we'll have to see. Okay, it's now uh, 10 or 15 minutes after official sunset. We go for a bit more of a ride here uh, through the building. It's kind of fun. Go to world. Uh, 4K30 on both of them, uh, wide on both of them, and uh, rock steady plus and boost normal color profile.
so I've just spent six plus hours aligning footage uh, and getting it all set here. And one of the things I've noticed is that it'll look fine in a small screen. Uh, on your phone, it'll look fine probably. Uh, you won't be able to see the noise and just how horrific all this footage actually is from both cameras. Uh, yeah, it's fine if you're posting it to Instagram, but if you're gonna watch it on a screen, even a small computer like this, or probably even like an iPad or a tablet or whatever, certainly a big screen TV, uh, all this footage from this point forward in the video is basically unusable except for like if you absolutely have to tell that part of the story but I wouldn't want to use any of this footage going forward. And if you're not sure about that, you can click on the link down in the description there and actually download this exact footage. I'm going to make it all available. It'll take a couple hours to get uploaded but just uh, FYI on that. Cool, over here to pause for a second to see how this looks uh, when I stop. Take a see the lighting on that building there. It's kind of pretty. So we'll just see what this looks like. Pause really quick. Let this moped go by. Okay. Okay. Use my body as space to get one big gift. I know for all you uh, Americans, you're like Jason Bourne, or identity. Oh, hey, uh, a quick note for future me here sitting out in the dark woods. Uh, if you're finding this interesting or useful, go ahead and just whack the like button at the bottom. It really does help this video and the channel quite a bit. my full action port in the review dropped yesterday, maybe before, whatever it was, a lot of you asked for more low light footage. Thus, ask and you shall receive. This video is just a comparison of low light footage, both some stuff I've shot previously over the last couple weeks or so, as well as a lot of stuff I shot today leading up to sunrise. Uh, certainly here it looks like it's uh, a better image uh, in that configuration on the Action 4, but I'm gonna go now and show you what it looks like walking around. So here I am walking with the camera, in this case, uh, in dust configuration. So you saw what it looked like it was nice and still. Um, and then as I walk around to see how this looks, I'll turn back around again. I've got a car that's gonna illuminate me a little bit here, so that's gonna uh, dork with things slightly. Well, across the street, it's a little bit darker over here. So here we go, turn this around. And certainly the Action 4 in this scenario looks better. Toss this on the railing and hope it doesn't fall over. And there we go. Now, one of the things that's important to point out is the whole point of an action camera is theoretically action. Uh, which isn't to say that people don't use it in all sorts of scenarios, but in particular I'm interested in how well it works once you start moving. Uh, because these days, your phone is pretty much going to do a better job than any action camera when it comes to night photography. We've already seen that today. We saw that earlier on in the video. Uh, so, here's a bit of bumps. I'm hand-holding it right now. Go ahead and pop around so you can see what this looks like this way. And then we can walk out on for the loop around the block. So we're going to clamp it onto the uh, clamp here. Hold on. Under the clamp. Under the clamp. Sorry, a bit wonky. Uh, so now it's on the bike, uh, which has its pros and cons. It means it's going ahead and basically taking the full. Uh, brute force of any of the vibrations versus my body uh, kind of uh, handling some of that and you can see both of them look pretty rough uh, from a stability standpoint. Versus once I stop up here, things will look pretty nice. So I'll take this back off again. Off the mount. There we go. 
I'm just hand holding it here, uh, but just so you can see that. Okay, here we go, a very nice well lit corridor, uh, super well lit in fact. Uh, so just, just for fun, I'm going to turn it to the right where it gets darker. I'll show you what this looks like as I turn to the right. There we go. And then back again. I can't go down that with the bike, you're not allowed to. Uh, so pedestrian only. So we're going to have to go this way again, seeing what things look like in different lighting conditions. Okay, here we go, a very nice well lit corridor, uh, super well lit in fact. Uh, so just just for fun, I'm going to turn it to the right where it gets darker. I'll show you what this looks like as I turn to the right. Okay, here we go, a very nice well lit corridor, uh, super well lit in fact. Uh, so just just for fun, I'm going to turn it to the right where it gets darker. I'll show you what this looks like as I turn to the right. Certainly, I can't really see the detail here. I mean, to me, it looks like the Action 4 is definitely quite a bit brighter, uh, quite a bit nicer looking image, but I can't see the green. I don't think it matters too much in this case. Uh, that will probably going to be bad. Uh, but I can't quite tell the stabilization either as to whether or not GoPro is trading darkness for stabilization um, and vice versa on the Action 4. And certainly I can't really see the detail here. I mean, to me it looks like the Action 4 is definitely quite a bit brighter, uh, quite a bit nicer looking image, but I can't see the green. I don't get to matter too much in this case. Uh, that will probably going to be bad. Uh, but I can't quite tell the stabilization either. And certainly I can't really see the detail here. I mean, to me it looks like the Action 4 is definitely quite a bit brighter, uh, quite a bit nicer looking image, but I can't see the green. I don't get to matter too much in this case. Uh, that will probably going to be bad. Uh, but I can't quite tell the stabilization either. I'd say right now looking at the coloring, the, um, the Action 4 is making a little more yellow than it really is. Uh, inversely, I think the GoPro is making a little more blue than it really is. So I'll turn this back around so you can see the whole scene of the museum there. Super, super cool at night. Let's see which way I'm gonna go. Traffic full direction, so we'll go right. Another one of my favorite sections. Uh, just see the coloring in here. I would actually say the action port is just very slightly overexposing the scene. It's not quite as bright as it says it is. Um, the GoPro looks a little more correctly exposed in terms of the uh, actual brightness levels. We get around this little uh, jiggle here. And then we'll have a quick chat. So. Welcome to the woods. It's dark. You probably can't see anything. Based on what I can see in the displays, you cannot see anything at all. Uh, and the question then becomes, what is low light photography? Clearly out here in the dark, there's, it's not enough for either of these two cameras to work. And the only thing illuminating me is the bike light. Uh, once I remove the variable of all the city twinkly lights, when there's not city lights involved and it's just like general field low light photography like you see here uh, or this other running bits here, then it's much more of a kind of hit or miss scenario where there's some cases GoPro is better, some cases the Action 4 is better, and we have to account for stabilization and stuff like that. Point being, decide what you want out of your action camera. Uh, right now, if you're looking to do like city videography type stuff, the Action 4 is clearly making better uh, you know, videos than the GoPro is on the Hero 11 anyways. Uh, so that's that comparison. So anyways, hopefully uh, this is useful in some way, shape, or form. But with that, have a good one. Oh, you got to hit the subscribe thingy down below there because that's what makes the, the channel go round. Got it? Good.